Levita, do you have a problem? <laughs> Regina, what happened to your hair? Well, I let Levita, the hair expert, give me a rinse to get rid of my gray hair. And apparently, she got my dye mixed up with her cousin Latrell. <laughs> How many times do I have to say, I'm sorry, boss lady? Besides, what about poor Latrell? He walking around a brunette now. <laughs> His husband went off when he found out he wasn't a natural blonde. <laughs> hey, morning, everybody. What's up, Sid? What's up? Well, 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 if it ain't Piggy J. Blige. Shut up, my tower. Hey, Sid, I just came up with a way we could scare them ghosts out of our house. Regina, what you doing later on tonight? Well, we do need a fourth person for the seance. Oh, no, no, no. There will be no seance. You know, say it last night when I was sleeping in my car, I was thinking about them blinds moving and everything. I came up with a perfectly logical explanation. This is Chicago, the windy city. Hello, the wind is moving the blinds. It happens all the time. Steve, there's a supernatural presence in that apartment, and I know how to get rid of it. But we do need a fourth person to complete the psychic circle. Boss lady. Well, whoever said blondes had more fun was not talking about the sisters. Count me in. No, no, no. This is my apartment. There are no ghosts. There will be no seance, and that's final. OK, dog. Well, I might be too scared to take over your class while you become a funk legend. <laughs> All right, we can have a seance. But only because I got to be in Detroit for the grand opening of the Funk Cafe. And I promised entertainment tonight that I'd kind of be there to help translate for James Brown. <laughs> <laughs>